Hey, everybody. Dan Choquette here with Progress Software. I uh, want to welcome you to ChefConf 2022. And a big thank you for everybody that's watching this video and who have been involved in the Chef community uh, for years and years and years. Your, your support and your innovative ideas and and thoughts and and certainly usage of chef to to solve your business and operational problems is, is certainly much appreciated especially from someone who's who's been with chef slash now progress for for a number of years um what i wanted to talk to you today uh, is specific to the innovations that we've been uh pursuing and will be executing uh, around uh, what we're offering around educational services and and learn chef, um, it, it's it's a bit of a nostalgic road for me. Uh, way back when, a little earlier in my career, uh, I was actually a course developer and instructor at a, a software company, and I always always got a, a just a just a, a rise out of out of training and and teaching our customers how to use our software better to solve their issues and how to do their jobs better and if it helps their careers along the way that's that's an awesome outcome and in the past few months as i've been trying to get my arms around how can we make learn chef better how can we train our customers better get them to be using our product more efficiently and effectively in their lives it's 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 been a, a great experience and i want to share that with you so part of what uh, I think we want to start out with is uh, to reestablish our commitment to the chef community and our customers. And what we want to make sure we're doing is we're delivering content and instruction that's empowering, that's going to be of value to you, that's going to be consumable in, in ways in which are convenient for you as our users and our customers. And we also want it to be consistent. The content, the the the, the technical uh, value, and and the information we're providing across all platforms, whether it's us, whether it's partners, uh, it should be consistent. Uh, and we 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 kind of take a look at how our customers have been consuming our 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 products, and obviously the the open source uh, bits. And one of the things that has been very clear to us is that, and we've kind of known this for a while, is it chef's complicated. It's powerful. It solves a lot of problems, but it's it's complex. And there's certainly a methodology that we need to provide to our customers and users on how to start with chefs so you're getting immediate value and you're solving your problems. But as you learn and become comfortable with the technology, you're able to broaden your thinking and how to apply it to different use cases and different challenges that you face uh, in your in your lives. And Learn Chef is a great place to start. And again, when I when I kind of think back in in you know when I was a trainer way back when, I I, I think about you know certainly how there's been you know incredible changes in distance learning and learning theory and such. But at the end of the day, people need to have a way to start uh, uh, when that's going to be uh, copacetic to how they learn, whether it's visually, whether it's auditory, whether it's breaking something and learning how you fix it. Um, and, and Learn Chef has been a great place to start. Uh, you've added a tremendous amount of value to the Learn Chef platform in the way of modules and your ideas and thoughts. We want that to continue. Um, but what we also uh, view is Learn Chef is a very important component to our community in broadening the community, both in numbers, but also in depth of knowledge. Um, but we also want to make sure we do our job in not just taking in your feedback and your ideas on how we can improve Learn Chef or what modules we can add, but also make it easier to consume. And so when we talk about easier to consume, and I'm sure everybody here um, is, is familiar with our other product offerings, um, but what we wanna make sure we're doing is broadening again, how we're providing our content and training and educational materials to our customers. Now, as you can see, there's, there's a bit of a, 
uh, expansion um, motion that we're taking with our our uh, portfolios of training offerings, specifically Learn Chef, as you know, and we're going to make uh, I think some some incredible uh, changes to that program that I'll talk about in a little bit. But we're also going to be launching two new programs as well, as you can see, Learn Chef Subscribe and Learn Chef Certified, which, as you can see, is a certification program that I'll talk about in a little bit. Again, this is the in, the the intent is to ensure that uh, our community and our customers have multiple avenues to consuming our content and becoming as as smart as you possibly can be with Chef. So with, with Learn Chef. Um, for those of you who have gone through Learn Chef, and it's a great place to start. It's obviously free, but there's incredible content. Um, I think many of us who have been with Chef for the for for you know the years prior to the acquisition, and, and certainly now, um, and certainly members of my team in, in services and educational services, uh, we all agree that we need to I think do do two main things with with Learn Chef. Uh, one, we need to make sure the content um, is consistently updated, and that's an operational thing. Uh, a lot of it is going to consist of ensuring that we keep our pulse on what the community is telling us. Uh, we certainly want to listen to our friends and, and tech support and my team and services and pre-sales. But uh, I, I think we 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 can do better in terms of updating the content, but also be better at providing content in a much more rapid fashion. And and those are the some of the things that you're going to see from us in 2020, uh, well, 2023, if you will. Um, but the way we're going to do that is, uh, I think, effectively is shorten the size of the modules. Now, for everybody who's you know watch YouTube videos or any other type of uh, uh, content uh, visually, uh, in, in, in all likelihood, you're not going to sit through a two-hour video, unless it's a movie you really like. Um, and, the, and the Learn Chef modules, they tend to be a bit long. And we found in our studies and feedback from, from customers and community members, the ask is to have the content be in more bursts. You know, give me the information uh, in, a, in a condensed format that's topical, not broad, but in a way that I can digest it quickly and provide some mechanism to reinforce what I've just learned. And our focus is to do that. So the modules that you're going to see moving forward, uh, and we're going to be, uh, I think, doing some uh, a bit of, of modification, the current modules, making them smaller. Some are very, really long, so making them more like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, less, more, depending on what the topic is. Um, but what we also want to do, uh, again, is uh, be uh, in alignment with what we're providing our customers in the way of information with what supports providing in terms of knowledge base, best practices across our, our, our company in terms of how to use Chef. So you're going to, uh, again, see that uh, uh, much more of a consistent messaging across the board. Uh, in terms of changes, I mean, we're still going to uh, provide badges for folks. I mean, and there's there's a bit of uh, obviously an uplift there with Learn Chef Certify that again I'll talk about a little bit. Um, we want to be very aggressive in providing this new content, but a lot of it is going to depend on feedback and in new features and 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 what we think we're uh, needing to expound on in the way of, of topics and and in in discussion that the community is having. Uh, what we're also going to be doing is providing a download uh, via a Docker container of the Learn Chef bits, or excuse me, the Chef software bits uh, that you'll be able to use and leverage. So in terms of those that had um, lab environments or using Amazon instances, uh, and, and, and I think, you know, Chef from a software standpoint, super duper easy to install, but in terms of configuring such, that's obviously where learning uh, is a, it provides a helping hand. Uh, this might make things a little bit easier for you. Now, the other thing that I, I think we can improve on is providing learning paths. So if you go to Learn Chef today, there's all kinds of different modules about Habitat, and about Infra and, and such. And I, I think for those of you who uh, subscribe to other different uh, uh, technologies uh, to provide learning experiences for yourself or, or for your folks. Um, what we, we want to do with Learn Chef is provide learning paths in two different vectors. One vector obviously being what the product is. You want to learn about infra, you go here. You want to learn about habitat, you go here. But if, you're, if your job function is 
you know, software release engineer, sys admin, you're in security, uh, you're a developer. Then what we also want to do is provide that learning path that'll take you to the specifics of what our product is. Now the material is pretty much the same. Now there may be some some modifications here and there, but in terms of 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 where you want to get started based on the problem you have and what you want to learn, this provides I think a a much easier decision point as to uh, where you should start. And again, the the purpose of this is to ensure that you're getting the right content that's focused on what you want to learn. And I think from from our standpoint and being in, in this business for a while, what we think you 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 should probably be learning if you want to be successful with the product. So the other the other um, I think next step in this evolution of how to deliver material and content uh, to our customers is a new offering that we're going to be uh, launching uh, hopefully the first half of 2023, which is Learn Chef Subscribe. So many of you are familiar with you know you pay X amount of dollars. Um, you get a, a year subscription, single seat, and you can com and you can consume all the content that's available within that package. That is exactly what we're going to do. Um, so, for those of you familiar with our uh, foundations class, intermediate class, automate compliance class, and other classes that we provide, uh, we are currently in the motion of digitizing that content. Uh, and making that available in a very similar fashion to how we're providing Learn Chef. Uh, in terms of how to purchase credit card or purchase order, as you would do today, I assume, with other organizations that provide this type of content today. And you can take this classes, classes as many times as you want. Um, in terms of how we're tracking usage, everyone that signs up, uh, we'll have a unique, uh, unique ID and password. And, and as you can see, certainly uh, it'll be um, time marked based on where you start and uh, understanding where you finish. And we'll provide, again, exams and, and tests to validate. And, of course, lab environments, as you can see, so that you can validate and reinforce what you've, what you've learned. Uh, what I'm also looking at, um, and the, the technology that we're using has this capability, is uh, provide uh, a localization, a local, localized experience, if you will. So for those of you who uh, are not English speaking, Japanese, uh, you know, French, um, you know, whatever the language is that you're most comfortable with, uh, we do want to look for ways to provide that localization experience for you. Um, English is the priority now, but I'd love to hear uh, any type of uh, requests that you may have uh, for uh, your own uh, personal local localization experience. And let's track those and do the best we can to, to get that to you. Um, very traditional what we're doing today, Learn Chef Classroom. So this is what you're probably familiar with today. We provide, again, the foundations class and a media class and other classes uh, in uh, a public uh, forum which is scheduled as you may or may not know. Uh, so in the public classes, this is a, you know, a one user to many. Uh, we also provide private training, same classes, but this is for, if you will, one company or one group of, of folks and up to 15 people or so, and we're providing lab environments and these are uh, instructor-led uh, experiences. Uh, what we're also doing more and more of is providing custom training. Uh, many customers that we've been working with over the years that have taken foundations or any media and, and provided great feedback to their managers, their managers have come back to me and said, hey, can I have new employees? And, you know, can we have, a, you know, this part of foundations class and this part of automation compliance class and this part of intermediate? And we've done that. And it's been a fantastic experience. Uh, so we'll look to continue to provide that. And again, we provide lab environments here. Um, you know, for the for these classes, so no significant changes there. Um, with that said, though, a major I think initiative that bears uh, bears me to kind of you know discuss is uh, we are currently going through a major update of all of our curriculum. Uh, for those of you who have uh, uh, taken these classes in the past. Um, Experience has been fantastic. I think what a lot of uh, a lot of the situations that we've had is is the folks in at least in services that have delivered the training because of their intimate knowledge and have been great about 
staying up to speed with our innovations and releases. They've been kind of um, uh, improvising on the fly, if you will, uh, and you know, talking about latest and greatest and kind of hiding some slides here and there. Um, that's not fair to you, and I don't think it's fair to us. So we're going through some major rewrites and updating of all of our curriculum. So for those of you who wish to uh, partake in the Learn Chef uh, public-private uh, experience, uh, our content will be the latest and greatest. So uh, on that topic, in terms of curriculum, uh, we've had the same classes for a while, and they're great classes, and obviously they need to be updated. Um, but what we also will be doing, really proud to announce, is we'll be launching uh, our Habitat class. So all those of you who know Habitat, you've been using it, but you want to expand on its usage. Uh, maybe your, your knowledge is, is piecemeal here and there, and that's that's tribal knowledge. Uh, we are going to be providing a, uh, a class on Habitat. Again, should be launching that in the next few months, uh, and we'll be making that available. Uh, public class, private class, and part of the uh, Learn Chef Subscribe um, uh, platform. Um, another uh, note that I think is worth mentioning is the Automate Compliance class. Uh, currently today, and a lot of great material in there, but there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of innovation that's been happening with Automate and certainly with Inspec over the past two to three years that must be incorporated into material. Like, you know, for instance, we don't talk a lot about waivers. We don't talk about remediation content. Uh, we don't talk about, uh, and this is fairly new, the, the Automate HA capability that's now part of uh, part of our of our product suite. That all needs to be incorporated into, into the training. Um, undecided as to whether to make it a two-day class or have it a uh, automate compliance one day class or a two day class. I, I'm not sure yet. Maybe an advanced class. Not sure, but either way, that material needs to be um, made available, and and for for our customers uh, and and for the community to take advantage of it. Uh, and goes without saying, uh, we will be uh, providing more uh, training classes and curriculum uh, throughout 20, 2023 and beyond. Certification program is something I'm really excited about. And, you know, I, I, in speaking with the community and certainly our customers, um, and I can speak for myself, you know, in, in my career, you know, you want to find that happy balance between being certified in a technology that demonstrates your commitment to learning it and being the best you can be at it. But what's also critical is having real world experience in using the technology, implementing it, breaking it, fixing it, and becoming a subject a subject matter expert in it. And with Learn Chef Certify, I think we're 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 approaching uh, uh, meeting that criteria. And and what currently we have today is an exam on Learn Chef. I think that's valuable. You pass the exam, you flunk the exam, you know what you didn't know, and and gives you at least some feedback on how to become more uh, proficient with the technology. But it's not a certification. You're, what we uh, believe is is something that our customers and the community is asking for is an actual certification program. So we've um, tiered that, as you can see, with Head Chef and Executive Set. Executive Chef. Uh, head Chef, uh, we're going to provide lab environments to our folks that want to sign up. Uh, there's an exam. Um, and our consultants, and these are people that are out there every day helping customers, deploying, architecting, implementing, designing. Uh, so they've, they've, they've seen the good, bad, and the ugly, if you will take a, take a term from Clint Eastwood. Um, we will be providing the certifications for those uh, those. Um, uh, certi uh, certification candidates uh, for head chef. And this will be uh, something that you would receive, uh, put in your email, LinkedIn, whatever you're, whatever you're, you're comfortable with. And, and this would be certified by progress, my team. Uh, what we're also going to be providing is an executive chef uh, certification. As you can see, there's a difference. Um, the, the thinking here is that an executive chef is someone that's, this is a power user. This is somebody that has a reputable uh, presence, whether it's the community or as a customer, um, that, that they know their stuff. And they're uh, committed to keeping up to date with chef and our latest releases 
and and can, is is quite frankly the 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 lead practitioner at their organization. Um, so that's the first thing we look for. And there's something that we definitely want to qualify for that. We haven't quite figured out what that criteria is, um, but that's something that we will be addressing moving forward. Um, but what it'll consist of is um, lab experiences. So what we certainly want to understand is the current chef environment that they're managing or have designed today. Uh, that tell us a lot about, tells us a lot about their experience and, and, and what they've been able to accomplish with chef. Uh, but we also want to make sure that they're adhering to pra uh, best practices. And the best way to do that is through uh, the, the lab experiences. So there's, there's three tiers to this. There's architecting a chef implementation in all of our products. There's implementing chef in all, all of our products. Uh, and there's also troubleshooting. Um, now, based on these three steps, this is where a, a senior member of uh, you know, the consulting or educational services team, and we're, 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 we're staffing educational services, we're consultants. So these are people that they know their, their stuff and their experience in chef. Uh, these will be reviewed and uh, will be certified by our team. Now, the intent is not to make this uh, the most difficult uh, certification uh, program in the world. The, the end goal is to make sure that you're proficient with chef, but the certification aligns to your level of knowledge and understanding of the product. Uh, that is the main goal. Uh, so we're very excited to launch these programs, hoping to have these again available first half of 2023. Uh, so, you know, in, in these types of um, conferences, you know, people like me, vendors, they have to say, we're going to do all this stuff. Well, being in services, I'm used to I'm used to milestones and project schedules. So I, I kind of like to hold myself accountable to what we're actually doing. So over the next six months, we're committing to these things, uh, updating all of our classes. Talk about that. That's currently in flight and we will execute against that. Uh, additionally, launching new courseware and launching the certification program and the subscription offering. These are in flight. These will happen. Uh, some of the things that we obviously haven't figured out is pricing and which classes we're going to do first. That's all um, things that we need to, to, to sort out, but that will happen. Uh, what you're also going to notice, and this kind of aligns with what I was talking about with Learn Chef and the learning paths and personas, we need to make some, some upgrades and some changes to, to Learn Chef and the website. That will happen as well. Um, I, I'm not the webmaster in progress, so that takes a little bit of uh, partnering with other teams, but that will also happen as well. It's necessary from a platform standpoint. Uh, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I think you're going to get a tremendous amount of value uh, from from the things that we're we're looking to do um, short term and long term with with uh, Learn Chef and all the other offerings that we're planning on for 2023. Uh, thanks for your attention and watching this video. Uh, if there's any thoughts, comments, questions. Uh, that you have uh, regarding to Ed Services or anything about Chef, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Email is dan.choquet, C-H-O-Q-U-E-T-T-E at progress.com. And thanks very much. Have a great uh, rest of the conference and hope you enjoy the other videos that my, uh, my, my other compadres who are speakers will also be providing. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.